Okay, class, it's time to, 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 to get to the final lesson for today. This is lesson number four, okay? And guess what? It is the 1065K1. This is what you need to know. Okay, partnerships, partner, okay, you with a bank, you got a mortgage, you got a car loan, you got a student loan, partnerships. You got a credit card, partnerships. Any contract you have with another party is a partnership because that's what the contract creates, a partnership. Go look up the definition for partnership. Okay, we don't want the financial definition. No, no, no. We want the definition of what partners are. Go talk to Tupac. He always talked about partners, partner. Okay, partnerships. You got to focus. You created a partnership when you signed that agreement. Mm-hmm, so did. Okay, now, we're going to talk about partnership classes because uh, because what's going to happen? Yeah, I said classes. What's going to happen is after this, y'all get to go on vacation. I'm going to go on a vacation because <laughs> I need a vacation after all of this dealing with you, mother. I mean, uh, okay, children. Okay, calm down. No, I didn't say nothing. No, no, that's where your minds went. I just said mothers because each one of your mothers is a, I mean, uh, is a special person. That's right. That makes, because she's a female, all of you are dogs. Okay, that makes her exactly what she is. No, I'm not calling your mother that. You stop that. You stop that. Y'all dirty minds. Y'all dirty minds. Poor children. Now pay attention. 2023. What if it wasn't 2023? Then what you do is you put the year up here. 2022. Okay? Doesn't matter. You can find what you're looking for. We're going to go back to 2023, okay? All right. Come on. Come on. Pay attention. Those of you in the back, don't know. Uh -uh, put that down. Yeah, I know exactly what y'all doing back there. I've seen the videos on TikTok. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to click right there. Hold on now. There's the K1. How many pages is it? Can anybody tell me? It's only one page. What the? F uh, the IRS document that's only one page? That's impossible. Wait, how powerful is this document? Well, this is a receipt. What you mean it's a receipt? There isn't a receipt usually one page. Well, that doesn't make this a receipt. What makes this a receipt is watch this. You put the year that y'all were doing business and the tax year, and it's year by year. So you're going to put the year. You can get the right form. Let's say it's 2023. Let's say it's January 1st. We put one, and then, and then, and then we put one. And then, and then let's say it ended December 31st. We put 12, and then we put 3, 1, and then we put 2, 0, 2, 3. Cut out! That's finished! See how easy that was? Oh, there are instructions. I think it's like 14 pages. You're going to have to read the instructions. It covers every box, and then you can go on Google, and you can type in the box, and it'll tell you exactly, or you can put it in chat GPT and say, chat GPT, box number blah, 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 on the K1 form. For partnerships, I need you to tell me what goes in that box, okay? But do your research. I'm not going to tell you how to fill the whole thing out. But hold on. Let's say my loan was for $3 million, don't have to put the comma, $256,487.23. So that was my loan, okay? But hold on now. Don't say credits, right? Well, the bank got the money from the Federal Reserve. Go read Section 16 of the Federal Reserve Act, Paragraph 2 and 4. And you see when you, as a U.S. borrower, go apply for a loan and you fill out the application, not the application for the loan, but the application at closing. Those documents, the closing documents, that's the application. When you fill out the application, I, 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 Federal Reserve Operating Circular Number 10, Appendix Number 3, that tells you what the application is. So leave me alone. All right. Now, when, when you're doing that, hold on now. When you are doing that, it says that the Federal Reserve Board of Governors is obligated. It says that they shall give the bank the money that you were applying for, dollar for dollar, on your behalf. So they gave it to them, and you're, you're not going to show proof. You don't have to. We're just going to presume and assume they received the credit. But because they received it from you, that negative sign, that's a business expense. 
It was done during the course of ordinary business. You gave them that money. The IRS gave it to them on your behalf. So now you just received that much in credits. Woo wait, you go up here, you on top, and they on the bottom. You on the top, and they on the bottom. And all you got to do is put in your, your EIN number and their EIN number, and you're going to have to do your research on how to fill the rest out. And then you follow the instructions for how to process this form, and then you send this with your 1099-C to the credit reporting bureaus. This is your proof that this debt's been paid. Ta-da! With the 1099-C. You see how simple that is? It doesn't take a rocket scientist or a genius. I know, I know, I know there's so many people out there doing so many videos and they're telling y'all to jump through this hoop and that hoop and they're telling y'all what they think and what they don't think. <sighs> it's such a wonderful world. Look, ladies and gentlemen, I've been holding on to this information for a long time. I've known of this stuff, been doing it since 2011, okay? This is your receipt. How is it a receipt? Because it shows you gave them the credit. <laughs> and when you do a K-1, they actually get the credit. Now, oh, 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 we got to talk about one more thing. Whew, this is the difficult part. In order for anybody to receive a refund on this, you have to show withholding. So you're responsible for the withholdings tax. Well, how do you take care of the withholdings tax? All right, I'm not going to tell y'all too much, okay? I, 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 y'all going to have to, yeah, I'm going to leave this page. I don't want that information. I, 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 class, pay attention. We're going to do a 1041 because it's a sole proprietorship. It's a business. We're going to do 1041, and then we're going we're gonna to estimate it. We're going to do a 1040 ES foam. Now, I don't want the 2024 because it, we ain't 2024. So we just going to put 1040 ES. Whatever year it was full, this is estimated income tax for estates. Now, it's not just for estates because they do it also for other businesses. So let's do, we did that one for estates because you're sole proprietorship. And so let's find out what other 1041s. I'm kind of curious now. That's just one of them, ladies and gentlemen. I'm kind of curious, okay? Um, oh, I'm sorry. I got to I gotta do something. Give me one second. We're going to do... I got I to gotta, I gotta do this real quick because we're, we're running out of time for TikTok people. So this is what you're going to do. Copy that because I don't feel like typing. And I don't feel like using the voice recognition. And we're going to do that, okay? Now... Estimated tax payments. Pay attention. We're going to do 2022 just to get some general information. Now, this is for estates and others, so it's not just for one. Okay, everything is all on one form. Now, you send that. Now, what else do you need to do? Okay, pay attention. This is really important. I R S. Wake up. Bills of Exchange, Campus Support. Stop listening. Now, this is very important, ladies and gentlemen. Go here, children. Go to Section 3845, Manual Deposits, or 2117. We're going to go to 3845 this time. We've been every place else, but we ain't been here in a long well, just last week. All right. Now, hold on. Control F. And what we're going to do is bill because you don't mess with bill. We just put bill in there. And we need to, uh oh, I need two L's. Bill. And it says bill of exchange. First thing it says when we do a word search, keyword search. That's what we're doing. And it says bill of exchange. If a bill of exchange or a registered bill of exchange is received from the taxpayer, Authorizing the campus, you got to authorize, put a letter in there saying you're authorizing the campus to settle your account through FedWire. You are going to send everything here. Now, you can't, hold on now, you can send it to the IRS campus support telling them to settle your account through FedWire and you can send them a bill of exchange. Ta-da!